This screencast describes Chain Tracer, which analyzes bacterial cell chains with the help of image J and object J. In order to access individual cells within a chain, we use the face contrast image to find the outline of the chain and we display in the chain's membrane fluorescence in a straightened way. In this way, we can automatically or manually locate septa that we regard as cell dividers. Subsequently, we can mark and measure properties of individual cells and create numerical output or graphics. When you download the project, you get a folder which looks similar to this one with two demo images and one project file with the .ojj extension. In order to open this project, open ImageJ and drag it into the main window of ImageJ. You see now that we have an additional menu called Object J and the project window opens with an empty field for linked images because before starting to analyze images you have to link these images by dragging them into the link image area. Here they are double clickable and you can see that these are hyperstacks consisting of three channels, face contrast and um, brain fluorescence and GFP. We will now execute a number of commands that are specific to this project and that are found under the object J menu. We first will mark the filaments in the face contrast channel, then make straight cells and using the straight cells to find automatically the septa which then can be manipulated manually by adding or deleting septa interactively. Finally, we will resolve the cells from the chains, calc their diameters via the membrane channel and calculate the GFP content per cell. Now let us start with executing the first command called mark filaments, which traces these chains and gives them some colored markers, but also fills the internal object J results sheets with the corresponding results like axis length and diameter and most importantly these results are linked so if I go to chain number four and double click it I can see it in the image. Now let's go to the next command which is here important we go we make the straight cells And in the straight cells, we choose the membrane channel to find the septa, which are found here. You can do this automatically, find all septa, and you see that these are red triangles, but not all are correct. So I can add a triangle where I think it was missing and add it here. And I also can delete one when I think it shouldn't be there. After the chains have been marked and the septa have been found, we can resolve cells from chains. And to explain this a little bit better, let's have a look at the Object J tools, which lists all the marker types that are being used. Two marker types are used for chains, the chain axis and the average chain diameter. And after resolving, we additionally have for each cell, a cell box. So in this case, we have two cells. Also, the cell axis is shown as little yellow dots and the cell diameter as derived from the membrane channel is also indicated as two purple spots. You can individually select either chains or cells. Looking at the object J results, you can see that chain parameters and cell parameters do not interfere because they use different columns and they use different rows. So still the statistics are correct. So you can see here all the column statistics. Also you can sort, for instance, you want to know the, the strongest GFP signal. This will be cell number 42. And if you double click it, you see the cell with the strongest GFP signal. Also, we can make a histogram by right-clicking the title, show histogram. It shows you a histogram of the GFP signals. 